Hey guys, just want to show you a quick video on how to figure out measurements for any roof for that matter with your calculator on the ground before you even get on the roof. So let's start off with this example. This is the girder and the uh, jacks that are going to go basically right here on my lower roof. So I went ahead and measured my jacks confirmed it is in fact a 512 so first first we plug in the pitch so five inch pitch type in the run you always need two out of the three so in this case i'm going to type in my pitch and my run so 115 inch run and then diagonal so 124 and 9 16 that's what this jack is long to short from there I know my intersecting pitch my front to back pitch they want a four so I type in four inch convert hip and then I push it again so that's gonna split me out my hip so 190 and a quarter so from there I can figure out my jack rafters, which I don't really need because I already have these here. So basically I'm just gonna be cutting those and then adding on after. But if, if it were just a straight up hand cut roof, 69 center, I can change my function, but it's a stored function for conventional. Uh, coming off, First, it's gonna give me the original pitch I plugged in, which is the 512. So the jack one is gonna be 110 and 11 16. These are all long to short measurements. And then coming down off that, 96 and 7 8 and so on and so forth until you get to basically 13 inches. And then you push again and it's gonna give you your irregular side that's a regular jack on center 16 and then you push it again so your first 412 jack coming off the hip based on 16 in the center is going to be 130 and 7 16 and it gets reduced to 3 and 15 16 i want to see that rafter cut by the way so Basically, there you have it. Now, to find out your, my, cause I'm gonna put a long to long um, block that's gonna sit on this double girder. This is three trusses, but only two of them the girder. I gotta break the bands. And the one is gonna sit two feet back. So, because it's a double girder, I'm gonna sit it on top and then I'm going to nail a 2x4 to give it that extra beef to sit on later. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. So first you type in your pitch. So in this case, 5 inch pitch. Now instead of 22 and a half inch run to find a normal comma block, we're going to go 2 feet run to find our long to long. So 24 inch run diagonal. So it's a straight up 26 inches. So you want to record that. So I've already done these by the way. I got my long to long 26, 512. Now to find your hip extension, long, long, to, long to long hip extension, you simply type in, just like before, four inch convert hip hip. And it's gonna spit me out that number, all right? So I reduce it a little bit on the hip to um, to account for um, getting it nice and straight. So I might take an eighth off that. So I might cut that like I don't know, probably a half, let's say, 39 and a half, long to long with uh, bevels on the top. 
and I find by doing that it's, it turns out really nice and straight so yeah there you have it just an easy way to find your rafters with uh, no measuring and no eyeing it in and it's always dead not straight so guys hope you enjoyed that oh for the little tip I haven't done it on this tape but for your cut guy it's kind of a neat thing to do the uh, there used to be a company that sold literally stickers to go right here and they were basically made for fat max tapes Lowe's used to sell them for I think 50 cents and I think it's because of that price point that they went out of business but you can still accomplish this by cleaning this up and you can spray paint that with um, gray uh, chalk like chalk paint gray chalk paint and what that does is basically after you spray that with gray chalk paint you can have all you can write all your measurements right here so say if you have a complicated sheet or you have a lot of big cut list like what's better than putting it right on your tape you're using that tape at the same time so little tip gray chalk paint you buy a can of that it'll last you a lifetime i haven't obviously done this one but i will show that in my next video all right guys hope you have an amazing weekend take care this week's flown by remember to like and subscribe thanks bye for now